Hey everybody, this is Dr. Daniel Choi here from North Texas Dental Surgery and Denture Implant Center and I wanted to answer a common question with snap-on denture maintenance. All right, so people are asking, all right, if I get one of these, do I have to get any maintenance on this? So uh, first things first, please, if you like this um, type of content, please give me a follow on my YouTube channel and also if you find this helpful, please give us a thumbs up. All right, so denture, snap-on denture maintenance, absolutely. So. The, the question is yes, you will need to get maintenance on this, whether you do an all on four that's fixed, like the teeth in a day option, or you do a snap on denture that's actually removable, that's supported by denture implants. Yes, you do have to get maintenance on it. So, but what does that maintenance entail? So I wanted to basically go over um, the specifics on that. Um, so when you get a snap on denture, the part that actually needs maintenance is on the underside. It's the actual, um, like what they call the male part of the snap-on denture. Okay, so actually I would call it the female part, but I mean, they for whatever reason, they call it the, the, the male part. When these little blue things that you see here are like, what they're actually made of nylon and they're inserts that allow the actual parts that come out of the implant. These are like, you know, what in theory, I think these should be called the male parts, but they're actually called the female parts. These project out of your gums and actually snaps in on the underside of your snap-on denture. Okay, you heard that little click. That's how your denture stays in place. Well, here's the thing. If you're in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, and you're doing that over and over and over again over the period of months, what ends up happening is that those nylon inserts actually start to wear. So over time, whether it's three months, six months, nine months, everybody's different depending on how often they're taking it out. What ends up happening is that these inserts need to be replaced eventually. So it's a really easy appointment. It's not very expensive at all. You go in and see your dentist and basically what they'll do is they'll snap it out real quick. So I'm actually gonna show you a few images of what that really looks like. So um, I pulled up some Google images. So this right here, just kind of taking a look, that um, this right here are, these are, you know, I was just showing you the, the blue insert. That's actually this right here. These two parts are actually fixated on the underside of your snap-on denture. This is the part that's poking out your gum. Okay, that's the locator abutment, the attachment. So <clears throat> again, um, these two parts are on the actual snap-on denture. This is what's projecting on your gums. This is what snaps in. Now, what are you looking at right here with the zero, low, medium, high? The, if we put these clear ones on the underside of your denture, then your denture is gonna be stuck on really good. And that could be great or that could be frustrating for some patients. Because if you don't have great manual dexterity, like or you're getting in there and you're trying to get that denture off, it could be a real struggle. Therefore, it's kind of like a, like, you know, you gotta see which one you really like the most. Um, some people, their manual dexterity isn't that great. Well, they might wanna use something like this. Well, the catch is that over time, um, you might need to get that replaced a little bit more often, right? So because it had very little retention to get in the first place, um, you might find that it just kind of wears out over time sooner than something like this. So that's something that's a little bit like a little trial and error that you're gonna kind of have to see how easy it is for you to take off. So you could just always tell your dentist. Um, how easy is it to take on and off? Well, honestly, you see a little image right there. It's just like you go in to see your dentist, he just pops it out and then he could pop a new one in there real quick. So it's a pretty quick and easy appointment. Um, every dentist, what they charge for maintenance appointments because it is a little chair side time to see you and also to buy these inserts. So every dentist like charges a different fee. I'm not exactly sure and I can't speak on like what your dentist would charge, but your dentist is probably gonna charge something based on like, you know, how many implants, like so how many attachments we need to ch swap this out for. Um, so basically that's what his fees are gonna be. So, you know, again, I can't speak as to like what the actual maintenance can cost. It can maybe make it be uh, like maybe $100, it can maybe be 200, make it be $300 per like time. They, it depends again on how many implants they need to get swapped out, uh, the attachments. One other very crucial piece of information that I wanna show you guys is um, in regards to maintenance. Okay, so this is not my patient, but this patient came in for a consultation because he came in like this, he had surgery, um, he had some mini implants placed by his dentist and he ended up in the emergency room 48 hours later and he came in, he was asking me what's going on here and I was telling him, number one, these are actually not uh, the type of permanent implants that you wanna get placed in your mouth. Whoever, 
PlayStation on this patient sold him basically a uh, temporary implants, which uh, should only be used temporarily to kind of maintain the bone, and um, sold this to him as a permanent stamp on denture prosthesis. And also, something went wrong surgically that the patient has to be hospitalized in the emergency room for a few days, he said. So he came to me, and one of the, his main complaints was that he had this denture and he couldn't even get it on. Like, I mean, it was he just couldn't get it on. Um, and one of the issues that I was seeing with this is obviously, um, you know, there's a, a laundry list of things that I see wrong with this, but one of the other things too is that the angulation of the dental, I mean, well, these temporary implants, um, ang angulation of the implants is very important when we're talking about dental implants. Um, if your implants aren't angled at the proper like angle, then what ends up happening with those little inserts that I showed you is that if they're go your dental implants are going at all these crazy different angles, you can't use the tighter fitting nylon inserts. You're going to have to use an insert that is very loose because if I have an implant going at this angle and I have another implant going at this angle where they're divergent, I need something that's kind of like more loose fitting to kind of just try to loosely grab these. Um, whereas if your dental implants are very parallel in the draw or the angle that this denture, this prosthesis is coming out, then that'll really allows me to basically use whatever level of retention that I want. I have another example of a snap-on denture here. We have two dental implants here, but basically you see that these dental implants are very parallel, which allows me to use whatever insert that I want. So my piece of information in regards to maintenance is a little bit off topic, but you're going to actually have less off like your maintenance is going to happen less often if your dental implants are placed correctly so again that's a very important key piece of information you need to get parallel placed implants therefore you can do like maintenance less often because you use inserts that are nice and tight and fitting so hopefully you guys uh, found this video helpful so um, if you did please again please give me a thumbs up and um, thanks again